Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 19 of my full platinum walkthrough for Bloodborne. This is it. This is the end of the Chalice Dungeons. We've just got this one final one left. This is what it's all been for, this one, to get into this one dungeon. That's all we've needed. Uh, it's called Thumaru Ithil, E-Hill, E-Hill, I-Hill, there's no T there, I-Hill, E-Hill, that word that's in the title. <laughs> um, we're going to take on Yarnum, Thumerian Queen, so Thumaru E-Hill is where we're going. Uh, this was the chalice that we got to the end of the Defile Dungeons. Um, at this point here I'm just having a, a look around to see which uh, gems I want to switch. There are a couple of tougher fights in here. There's nothing you've not fought, well apart from the Queen herself, nothing you've not fought already, um, but obviously they are harder versions of something you've fought already. So we have the Bloodletting Beast, he's second, uh, but first we have um, Thumerian Descendant. So I'm just sticking with normal Moon runes for now, I will come back and change those afterwards. You can get a lot of Blood Echoes, like a serious amount in this place now. You'll notice that you probably, well you won't have a spare um, grave anymore, so if you remove the first chalice that we ever did down on the second one here, and then go down to the um, Great Thumru I hill, E hill, <laughs> one. Do that. We've got all the stuff, all the red jelly, everything, the living string. We got all that in the previous episode, so we're all good to go on that front. And then just dive right in. We're not doing any side stuff. I'm practically skipping some of the enemies as well, uh, especially in the second area. Um, yeah, you see the side stuff there. We don't need anything anymore. We just need to get through to layer three, the boss, and beat her. And that's it, we're done. And then after this, it's just going to be one more video left, and that's going to be the three endings all in one. Very quick, it's just basically three boss fights. Um, that's it. So I'm not even going to bother with these guys. You can see there's some dropping down there. There's the big guy. Just head to the right straight away. Watch out for that trap. And then watch out for the... Uh, there's a dark trap directly ahead of me. I only just uh, missed that. So destroy that for the way back. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to do this really quickly. These areas, we're not even going to fight any of these. We're just going to go to the left. Uh, yeah, watch out. There are enemies above. Go to the left and then head upstairs. And uh, just try and find that switch here. Yeah, watch that trap. There is a ghost in here. The One of those, uh, I'm trying to hit this. I can't get it. I know it's around somewhere. It's going to appear in a minute. There it is. Uh, yeah, they can hurt quite a lot, but if you're ready for them... Like I wasn't, <laughs> it should be fine. There we go, easy enough. And then head upstairs from here. Let's go and hit that switch. At the end of this also, we will get all of the weapons that we don't already own. Uh, there is one more in New Game Plus. We'll do that during one of the endings. Um, so yeah, we want to buy all of them. If you've got the exact weapons that I've got throughout... You will need about 200,000 Echoes, just under 200,000 Blood Echoes to buy all the remaining ones that we need. I'm going to do that after the Queen. Um, I'm going to be using any that I get now just to level up a bit more. Uh, but yeah, after the Queen, you, you get 100,000 from her. So if you can get 100,000 before her, which is very simple, uh, you'll be good. You'll be uh, you're good to go. So yeah, when you go around to the other side on the top... You see this room and the uh, the switch is obviously in here. But yeah, so these guys can hurt a lot now because we are really deep into these dungeons. So anything that yeah, he's <laughs> anything that's going to hit you is going to hurt a lot. So be aware of that. Three hits from one of those and it will kill you. So you'll be burning through uh, blood vials in this place, especially with some of the bosses, uh, a couple of the bosses. Uh, but that's not a problem. And if you do run out, there is always that sort of farming. I haven't actually showed you, but I have told you in the past. Uh, the, the place I've used, I've not had to use it during these videos. Otherwise, I would have shown. Uh, it's basically where we started the game. That first run up to the Cleric Beast. Uh, kill the big guys, kill the werewolves, kill the other big guy that's just outside the boss gate. And uh, yeah, there's, you should get 15, 16. And it's a really simple run. You're not going to take any damage. You can just run. Uh, so what I was supposed to do was drop on the other side... I've completely turned myself around here and gone in the wrong room. Uh, yeah, this is not the right room, and now enemies have followed me in. So we'll just deal with those a minute while I 
and figure out where the hell I went wrong. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be in here. This is where we want it. And then this thing's coming in now. Great. So I tried to avoid all of this. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem with these dungeons is everything looks the same. That's my excuse anyway. So it's not in here. Just check. There's nothing else in here. Right. It's out of here and then to the right. So I was trying to be clear and drop down from the top and save time. Didn't work. Went the completely the wrong way. Went 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 the wrong way on the top. You screwed me up. Yeah, watch out for the uh, guillotine at the top on the way out. Uh, and then that's it. We're back in the main room now. Uh, before we do the fight, I'm just going to change a couple of runes here. So I'm just going to go quickly back to Hunter's Dream. Uh, I want the claw mark runes on. We're going to do some. Um, Visceral damage here, we're going to be doing a lot of counters, uh, a lot of parries. Yeah, it's the easiest way I've found to beat this guy, uh, Thumerian Descendant. He is pretty intense. If you try and take him on pound for pound, you're not going to... It's not very simple at all. He's quick and he's very vicious. So uh, trying to parry him here, here is the best thing to do. So I'm going to switch to both claw mats. So both moon runes are going... So you should have two claw marks. Uh, stick those on for extra visceral damage. That's what they do. Because that's going to be my ma my main damage output. That's what I'm uh, changing them for. So that's just a case of going back. And uh, yeah, taking them on. This really is sort of like boss rush. We're literally just skipping through these areas. Really quick. Or trying to be. Not getting stuck in corners. So this is it, skip the uh, side area again, and um, yeah, one-handed, and obviously let him come to you. Um, yeah, he throws his sickle, his uh, shuttle, whatever the weapon is, um, a lot as well, so be prepared to dodge. But if you stay a, sort of a distance behind him and wait for him to attack, he does a two or three hit combo. Um, if you can't really time the first one, you can go into the second, so wait, stand back, let him swing, one, two, three... And try and hit him in between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3. Like here he's going to potentially do it. Here. Yeah, this combo here. So if you stay back. Yeah, I've not, I'm not, got, not got my bearing yet. Right, we'll get on there in a minute. So you can be quite aggressive with him. Because uh, if you shoot him, he's going to go and try and run back. Uh, it doesn't always work though. But it is this time. So if you can get him into the corners as well. Uh, if you want him to back away, shoot him, and he will. Yeah, bad timing. You know my parrying's not great. <laughs> it's it's getting it's trying to get your eye in with this guy because he's he's so quick, and there's no like that's not a good view. I can't see what I'm doing at all there. Yeah, no, he wasn't going to do it. He's so quick. You need to sort of um, if you're going to go for the single, the first one, you need to be ready to fire. Uh, so it hits as he's running towards you because he is so quick and at this sort of about mid health he's always going to break his shuttles in half so he has two so you have a little window there to get some damage in um, and obviously back away and he's going to start throwing them at you again if you run out of uh, bullets which I'm going to do then press up on the d-pad and you're going to get yourself five more at the expense of about a quarter of your health bar and uh, yeah just try and do a better job of parrying than I'm doing but yeah, it's, it's don't let it... There we go. No, i run out, so I'm going to have to use my health up. Final one. Yeah, I never got this. I never was any good at this guy. This is one of the enemies that took me the lot. No, one of the bosses that took me the longest um, during my first ever playthrough of this game. Until I realised that parrying is the way to go, and I'm still not good at it. I'm not going to say that I am. I'm not, as you could see. But even I'm bad at it, so that means you can do it. You can do it. Just try and get your eye in with the timing on the parries, and uh, you'll be fine with that one. Again, it's not um, far of a run back to the bosses, so you should be alright. Uh, yeah, so don't worry about him. You'll get through it. It's just a case of shooting him. Once I realised that the first time ever, it was quite quick after that. If you try and take him on uh, normally, 
he's going to make short work of you. You're not going to be quick enough to get around the back of him. So I'm just going to nip back and do a couple of quick uh, upgrades and to skill, because why not? And then straight back. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> not straight back at all. We need to change the runes back. So I'll change them back for now. We will be changing them back once again once we're through this area. Uh, so I'm just going to be trying to get some more blood echoes. Don't, not that I particularly need them. If you're over level 120 at this point, you're more than, more than good. So yeah, don't worry about that. But for now, I don't need anything else. I don't need any resistances or anything. So I might as well put them on. Don't need any drops either, so I'm not bothered about that. So at the top of these stairs, there's going to be one of the fireballs, so sort of go up a little bit and dodge away. The enemy always seems to damage themselves nearly to the point of death, which is uh, a big help. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to kill himself. It's always just a little bit. You can hardly see any. There. <laughs> He's got nothing left on that health bar. Ritual Blood 5, we do not need that anymore. Quicksilver Bullets, I mean, you've probably just burned through a lot, so that's okay, I suppose. And yeah, we're going to go out into the big open area. We've been here before. You want to go all the way around to the opposite side. There's going to be one of these gun guys on each corner, so it doesn't really matter which way you go. Left or right, you want to go all the way to the opposite side. We're actually going to use some blue elixir here this time because there's a bit of a horrible room, more specifically a horrible enemy type uh, who can one-shot you if you're not careful. And I just I don't like dealing with them. You'll burn through a load of blood vials trying to do it. So we're just going to try and walk past him or everyone. There's quite a few of them. Uh, in the main area first, um, you'll have to kill a few enemies. Or you could double up on your blue elixir, but be, be aware that you might run out by the time you get to uh, the switch. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to be using. You can see there's two pyromancers just there, just past there. I'm going to try and do a drop on them. There is also a gargoyle in front of them, which is not a particularly great combo of enemies, really. So try and get them and just go, go, go. <laughs> try and kill them. There we go. Uh, as long as you get the two pyromancers, you'll be fine. You can, uh, you, they can also one shot you remember if you get the uh, get right in front of them so it is quite dangerous to be in front of them but I knew I had enough time to get rid of them then so bring the lift back down because we're going to use that there is a um, trap here as well so watch out and then we're going to be out in that big courtyard area we've been to this area before or similar one it's not exactly the same is it uh, yeah there's a lot of dangerous enemies here dangerous combinations I would say so at first try and get this big guy and uh, take him down because you don't want him <laughs> yeah forget about the, the scurrying beast over there it's not like we need any more gemstones so yeah always save a bit if you're going to do the charge R2 on these guys always save a little bit of stamina so you're able to back away because they follow up every single time you do it the machete ones especially Oh, <laughs> come on, that's not got any health left. There we go. Right, so the problem is we have one of these knights and uh, one of those other ones with a gun. They both have a gun. So he's got a crossbow, uh, the other one's got a gun, and then there's two dogs as well. Because that's a nice combination. I could probably use the pungent cocktails, to be honest. Uh, get the dogs to run away for a minute, but I'm just going to hide behind here and let them reset this is a bit of the coward's way, really. Uh, but yeah, it's just... Yeah, they can uh, definitely make very quick work of you. This is so close on that knight. He's got no help. I've just not been lucky at all with that. He's got nothing left. At least the dog's down here now, anyway. Yeah, so this is not the way to do it. get them in the end. Probably would have been quicker to just drop off the side and use blue elixir from the side. But, we're here now. We need to come back up those stairs anyway. Get most of the blood vials back anyway, so we'll be fine. Right, this is the room I'm talking about down here. 
there are enemies up above just throwing firebombs if you're wondering what that is. So there's a bunch of those guys. They're, they're fine. They're, you can deal with those, no problem. But there's one of those big kind of white enemies that uh, rolls and slams. So I'm going to use a blue elixir and it's going to make you disappear. Uh, if you get too close to enemies, they will sense you. So try and avoid them. Uh, just run for the switch. Hit the switch. He will probably become alert to where you are, but because you're doing the switch, uh, you'll have iframes. You're invincible. So just hit the switch and run. <laughs> and just get the hell out of there. If you want to clear that room, that's fine. Obviously, you'll probably get about 300,000 blood echoes for doing that. Uh, but we don't need them anymore. Well, we do need some. Uh, but we're a high enough level to d deal with most things. The bosses, at least. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for <laughs> this area. We're just going to avoid it. Just let's go. Um, you see at the bottom there, fire paper. So the next boss we're doing is the Bloodletting Beast. The headless version. Some people do struggle with this one. I've never struggled with this one at all. I don't know if it's the way I just attack him or not but I've never really had problems with this one maybe died once or twice but not ever got stuck on this one um, so hopefully that what I do is hopefully you can emulate it and uh, deal with him quickly enough but that starts with fire paper because it is a beast so it's gonna have that weakness and it's uh, kind of be a bit don't be cautious with it You've, de you've beaten the Bloodletting Beast already. Unfortunately, there's no summon either for this time round. Uh, but this one has no head. And two phases, the second phase, he has a big worm head. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see where the inspiration came from for some of the uh, Sekiro bosses from this one. So what I'm going to do is a couple of levels. Uh, and then anything I have left, I'm going to put in fire paper. I think it's just one. I'm holding three at the moment, so I'll buy one more. Uh, three or four fire papers, what you want. You can buy it over here. It's going to cost you just under 10,000 a piece. I uh, can't remember exactly what we are, what we're on. Eight, four. Uh, so I'm going to just afford the one. I, uh, I've got four. That's enough to get you through this fight. Uh, if you want more, obviously buy more. It's only 8,000, 8,500. Just come kill one enemy in this chalice and you'll be fine. Uh, just before I run back, I'm just going to change the runes. Um... I'm going to stick to this rune as set up now as well. So anti-clockwise metamorphosis, the better one. So that's plus 15% on um, stamina. And then Great Lake, which is a damage resistance one. Because he can hit hard and stamina is definitely really helpful. A lot of stamina for this one. Because you're going to be getting underneath him and you're just going to be hitting him. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you can get through this... Uh, Okay, even the first time I ever played this game, I didn't have a problem with it. I've watched lists on the most difficult bosses, and this one came up. Um, but I actually had to go back and look at when, when he was, because I, I did not remember him. Uh, but yeah, fire paper, have that ready. And then run in, and run straight towards him. Now the trick with him is, be underneath him. Oh, that wasn't very good. <laughs> he usually doesn't curve that. Uh, be underneath him. So if he does that attack, if you're close, you're fine. But he's firing little jets of uh, fast poison out of his back. If it hits you, it can. If you get sort of hit and caught up in it, it's going to uh, one shot you. Fast poison kills you very quickly. Obviously, this. So if you're close to him, you'll be fine. The idea, the thing that I'd managed to do is get underneath him in a corner like this is perfect, and he just sort of stops. So you just want to dodge through his attacks and get underneath him. And you're just going to get a feel for his attacks. Uh, always heal. Priority heal over hitting. So if you need to dodge through him to heal. So dodge his attack. Dodge underneath. Heal. And then attack. And he'll probably hit you anyway. But if you get him backed up into a corner like this. He can get stuck. You see he's not doing anything. So if you do this. Uh, it gives you that opening. So just. I, did, I was waiting there to get my stamina back up. Uh, yeah. And just try and dodge through his attacks so you're sort of underneath him but behind him kind of uh, and you'll be fine and get ready he does sort of do these stomps and he does jump back and try and hit you um, but you can dodge through him as he's doing it so here he's doing that attack again uh, you can kind of break his limbs a bit there as well to do extra damage 
So he does hurt, obviously. I'm not going to pretend like he's not hitting me. He does. But you can just dodge through him, get behind him, heal, dodge. He's like, I'm taking a lot of damage. That's fine. I, I'm ready to use my uh, blood vials. Uh, I want to be underneath him, sticking to him. Uh, yeah, here's that attack again. So if you're close to him, that's not going to be a problem. Underneath, and go for, go for the hits. See, he's getting stuck. He sort of gets stuck for a moment. It can happen a lot more. If you get him in a corner, he can get stuck for a good few seconds. Let's you get empty your full stamina bar into him. So the worm head has just popped out now because we're at sort of half health. Uh, it does make this a bit easier actually when he's got the worm head out, especially if you're trying to stay underneath him. So you do want to get straight back underneath him when he's got the uh, the worm head out. Uh, yeah, he is going to keep doing slams, but as long as you just try and get back underneath him and behind him all the time, like you can see, he's he's jumping away. He doesn't want you to be underneath him uh, or or behind him. So as long as you just keep trying to do that, get round to the side as well. And heal, priority heal over hitting. Don't try and um, get your health back from hitting. Just heal. As soon as you get up, heal. If you need an opening, if you see an opening, heal if you need to. Even if there's a little bit. Like, this is close. Um, just, yeah, just heal. Hit. You'll be fine. Oh, nearly got it. Oh, did get him. We traded. And yeah, there you go. It's just a case of get him into the corner. Stay underneath him. Uh, and kind of dodge, try and dodge through his uh, his stomps and his leg stamps, his uh, sort of jumps backwards, um, try and dodge through them so you're underneath him, and just stay there. And uh, stamina management, so you are, do have that roll left if you need to use it. And uh, yeah, that's the hardest boss in this video. The Queen herself is very easy in comparison, really. He was... The hardest one for now. Uh, you can have two summons with the queen as well. You can have two summons for the whole area, the the sort of layer, and then two for the queen. But it's not advised. Obviously, if you take summons into a boss fight, their health goes up. So it's not best to take two, but it can be fun. Uh, they, they can last quite a while against the queen as well. I'll just take the one in. Um, but I will get both of them to help out with the area. Yeah, so... Bloodletting Beast, hopefully it went okay for you. But yeah, stay underneath him. And wail on him with fire paper. <laughs> and just heal through it all. So as soon as you go into the lair, look to the left. Here's summon number one. Good old Olek. So we'll drop down and get this guy while we're waiting. So there is quite a nasty area. It's very short. Again, we're just going hitting the switch and leaving. Um, but there are a couple of nasty uh, enemies. There is an NPC as well, as soon as you get out here. So another one here. There's all that. Here he is. And as soon as you get outside, you'll see the scorpion. If there's a, a gravestone directly ahead of you, if you run behind it, that's summon number two. So you do that straight away. And there is an NPC just to the right of me. You see him there. Um... Yeah, so obviously kill these scorpions quickly because they can really hurt you if you're not expecting them. And then, uh, yeah, go to work on the NPC. It was nice to gank on, up on an NPC rather than uh, you be the one that's ganged up on yourself. Although he's quite, he's doing quite well. He's not bad. A little bit of health left. <laughs> he didn't drop anything, so I'm waiting here for a moment. Expecting a drop because he has an NPC, but nothing. Okay. Uh, so unfortunately, you can't leave this area if you've got the summons with you. You can't leave without. Uh, I mean, just run through it. They will obviously try and kill the enemies, and you don't want to leave them behind. I suppose you could, but you want them with you. I'd take this guy out first. He's going to be throwing fire bombs the whole time. And then the scorpions don't wake up or. Aggro the two knights at the back there because they hit hard, and you want to take <laughs> these scorpions first. So, if you'll notice, one of these knights actually has a shield as well. 
Uh, a pretty decent one, a proper shield. That's oil, so watch out for that. Because he has a fire sword, obviously it's going to hurt a lot more if you step into that. Uh, yeah, another thing, weapon at risk. That is because of one of the runes I put on. It reduces my weapon durability by half. Uh, but it increases damage, which is fine. I usually uh, go and repair weapons all the time, but I just forgot to do it. Ooh, that was lucky. <laughs> So I'll fix that on the way back, it's fine, we'll fix it just before we do the boss. So there's number one, he obviously doesn't have the shield, and where's the other one, there he is. So he's actually got a proper shield, I've not seen this anywhere in the game that you're able to get it, but with three of you, you should be able to make short work of him. Just go and grab these blood vials, and then we're going to go upstairs, and apparently the hardest boss of this game for NPCs like this, summons, is uh, ladders. Because <laughs> they can't figure out the ladder. Like a couple of siblings trying to get out the ladder, arguing with each other. So this is actually a pretty simple room we're going into. It's just, yep, yeah, okay, you're going over there. Um, there is a gargoyle up at the top, you can just see it there, and there is a big guy as well. It, you could probably do it on your own, simply enough, but I'm just wondering where they've gone, and why they're not following, so go and have a look. I thought they'd drop down, but they didn't. They're uh, arguing up who goes up the ladder first. Uh, try and force them down by sliding, nope. Come on. Not having it. Right, I guess I'm going to have to drop down. We're going to be done with these guys in a moment anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, come on. Messing around. You can see them arguing at the bottom ladder again now. Who's trying to go up first? <laughs> suppose that's a problem with having two of them with you. There we go, right. Yeah, we are done. There's like two enemies in here, and then we're going to in the boss. Slow today. Who? I could have done it on my own by now, messing around. Yeah, I think my uh, weapon is is not doing much damage. I feel like it's not doing as much as it should be doing. That should be that should be dead by now, surely. Uh, because of the weapon at risk thing, I'll go and fix it afterwards. But hit the switch; they'll take care of the gargoyle. Well, I'll try to. Have to do everything myself. <laughs> right, let's go and uh, do Queen Yarnum. Yarnum, you th Yarnum, Thumerian Queen. So I will just quickly nip back, uh, spend 100,000 for that extra level, but I'm going to keep 100,000, well 130,000 uh, for afterwards when we buy all the weapons. So the Thumerian Queen, Yarnum herself, will drop 100,000 blood echoes when you kill her. We need 200,000 buy to buy all the remaining weapons, so just save 100,000 uh, for the end. Spend the rest. Get yourself something nice. <laughs> now we'll... Uh, yeah, you need to use the Silence of Blank, obviously, to get rid of them. We will take Olek with us in with the fight. Uh, you can, obviously, if you want, take both, but do remember that her health will go up. It's not amazingly bad with this one, because her health is relatively low anyway, uh, compared to uh, one of the bigger beasts or something like that. So if you want to take two and just go crazy, then go for it. I'm just going to take the one. It's probably easier, to be honest, to just do it with just you and her. Because the the chain the the attacks the attacks don't change what you're doing because she has a lot of AOE attacks and things like that. So I'm just gonna repair the weapon there so it's working properly again. Keep the same runes on. And then we're gonna do it. This is it. This is what we've been doing the past seven videos. All the Chalice Dungeons, this is it. This fight, this is the trophy. It's just for killing 
the Yarnum Queen. That's it. There's no actual trophy for doing the Chalice Dungeon. It's just that we had to get to her. So all these past seven videos have been working towards. Just wait for Olek. Come on. And then after this, just three boss fights, the endings, and we're done. So I will, obviously, I'll remind you at the end again to make a backup save and at the beginning of the next video. But very important that you make a backup save from PlayStation Plus or on a USB uh, for the next video and the endings. So yeah, she uses a lot of blood uh, like that, which you can just dodge around. She's trying to do an AoE there that she's trying to build up. Uh, you can obviously charge R2 her to knock her down and then walk straight into it. So she's still building up that AoE. Uh, and I think I get hit by it in the moment. It does do a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, it should be. You shouldn't die from it though. So don't worry. Um, yeah, you can see her health's going down fairly. I know it's not massively quick, but uh, this is because uh, Olex with us. But if you just knock her around, she's going to break the chains. Once she breaks the chains, that's when the, uh, the fight actually starts. Uh, the main thing I'll tell you is the crying baby. So if you hear the crying baby which you might be able to hear in the, the video, I'm not quite sure, uh, but you will when you're fighting. Uh, if the crying baby is going, don't go near her. Just kind of step away a bit, so you'll see me back away now and again. Uh, it'll put you in the lock. You're going to see it happen in a minute anyway. Uh, then eventually she'll disappear. If she does that, look for the two that obviously aren't her. That hurt. Um, the more you, the fight goes on, the more obvious it becomes which one she is. She'll be covered in blood. Um... Yeah, kill the other two, they're just one hit, just get them out of the way, and then carry on. So yeah, her melees are quite strong. So you want to stay away from those. Uh, yeah, there's the crying baby. So that was that happens because he was so close uh, when the crying baby is happening. Um, now eventually, when you get her health down enough, she's going to put the blood damage tinge on the sword. And this is when she can do some serious damage with that sword now. So yeah, every, she's going to disappear a lot, and these things are going to fire the, the blood stuff at you. Uh, yeah, just, um, that was bad. That was, I, should, I was trying to dodge, and I did a jump for some reason. Uh, yeah, get rid of those two, and then continue on. She will start disappearing. You can see it's quite obvious which one she is now. Uh, yeah, if she does that, then move, dodge, dodge, dodge. The, you don't want to get hit by these arrows coming out the floor. Fast poison is obviously a problem. Uh, if you are getting hit by fast poison a lot, you can either let it wear down like this or use um, antidotes just to clear it so it doesn't get you. Uh, that's another one. If she slams into the floor, obviously back away and just leave it for a moment, even though I'm trying to get to her. Uh, yeah, and just keep wailing on her. She will. That is another one. If she's doing it to somebody else, you're fine. If you get caught in that sort of ring, you'll float up. You're, it, 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 you're taking damage while you're in the air. Um... So yeah, watch out. Just back out of the ring when she does it. It can still catch you sometimes. Uh, you can hit her as she's disappearing and it will stop that if you're lucky. That's her. I don't want to be on her. I want to be on the two two other ones. Don't want Because the, they do follow you, they will charge you. So it's best like that. They will come after you. So just get rid of the two fake ones first. Leave Olek. He's fine. Although he does die in a minute. If it's just you and, Ol uh, you, you and Yarnum, it's fine. Ah, she disappeared again. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. I don't know why I healed then. I had loads left. So, it's just a case of, uh, yeah, watch out. Wow, that's uh, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, watch out for what the Queen is doing and respond accordingly. Obviously, she's quite easy to knock down and things like that don't get I wouldn't bother with charge R2 too often now if Olex around then yes uh, you can still go for them but um, yeah she's quick to attack like that flow if you get caught up in that like Olex just did it can kill you there I was a bit close when the, the baby was crying I don't know how I got out of there without getting hit uh, a bit close when the uh, baby dad was crying yeah it's just a couple and then if the baby is crying back away just see what she does. Now back away. I'm not quick enough. <laughs> I was almost out of the ring there. But yeah, you're going to take a, quite a bit of damage from that, so be be careful with that one. No, don't go. We're not finished. 
that's probably the most annoying thing is that she does disappear quite often so you have to go and uh, find her again that's her we don't want her we'll go past and hit her a few times no <laughs> I should have got rid of the other one first yeah whenever she does the this just keep moving those things can uh, really hurt I think we've got one more one more disappearance obviously stay away from that no I think she did. no <laughs> oh that was close crying baby no don't go <sighs> just extending the length of this video it should have been done by now so that's what I'm saying if you've got the if you don't want to take a summon in it's fine the fight doesn't really change um, there you go she's gone uh, it just adds more health so it's potentially quicker if you don't take a summon especially if you don't take two in uh, and there you go and you'll get the Yarnum Thumerian Queen trophy the Yarnum Stone which is completely useless I think it allows you to buy certain things now um, from the messenger bath but we don't need anything so yeah completely useless it doesn't actually do anything itself uh, I think it's a bit like one of the badges um, yeah and then leave you're done chalice dungeons are over and at this point you should have over 200,000 blood echoes um, and then go and purchase like it says all missing weapons all the weapons you don't have already I'll put a list in the description maybe even a comment as well just for ease sake uh, of all the weapons you need to have uh, there's only one we can't get the burial blade we need to get that in new game plus but that's fine we'll get that in the next video just make sure you buy every single one that I'm getting you should already have Ludwig's and things and the writer Palsh or whatever it's called uh, but yeah Chicago rifle spear stake driver buy all those Tonitrus you should have that Ligaris wheel get that beast claw should have that and then onto the weapons you do need those as well so hunter pistol we've got the blunderbuss obviously repeating pistol uh, Ludwig's rifle uh, and then you should have the Evelyn cannon flame sprayer and then the Ros Rosmari Rosmarinus whatever it's called that one and that you should be you done just the burial blade in new game plus and you'll be done uh, right I'll just quickly go through everything again that you need so you can just kind of see them this is everything I have uh, and then we'll be out of here uh, so yeah make a backup save now uh, PS plus USB whatever I'll remind you again at the beginning of the next video very important to do that otherwise you're playing two more times uh, yeah right endings next thanks very much for watching I'll see you on the next one